anyway, should we get started? All right, Leah, let's get let's get it going. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, we were still doing some more tactics, tactics positions. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where did we leave off? I don't remember that position. I do remember that position, so we must be here. This will be from 1969. Like the summer of 69. Is that Brian Adams? I, I think it is. <laughs> All roads somehow, some, somehow lead back to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be um, two people I never heard of. Doesn't mean they're not good. I just personally never heard of them. And make sure this looks like this is the right position. It's black to play and draw. Okay. Let's see what the chat says. Great job setting up the position. Don't buy a book, just donate. You see they're trying to draw? Yeah, black to play and draw. Okay. I prefer white to play and win. Hmm. Might not be as difficult of a, of a position then. Or it might be just as, as difficult. Very difficult to say how difficult it would be. So obviously we have a problem with our knight, huh? Mm-hmm. He's attacked, and I don't want to put him on <clears throat> A8. Then he'll probably be lost. This one looks pretty tough. White has too many bishops. I just resign. Yeah, it is two bishops of what else. A6 illegal move. Good suggestion. Usually the illegal suggestion is B6, but... Hey, Intelligent. How's it going? Hey, Intelligent. It's hard for me to even come up with a suggestion here. You know, I can't even hardly find candidate moves. Mm -hmm. What was that noise? It was a subscription. Yay. Trying to learn. Thank you, trying to learn. Yay. Um, for 13 months. That's lucky. Black to play and draw for those that just got here. Let's see. Thank you for that donation. Oh, nice. Dad Yasuo. Five bucks. <clears throat> well, I have an idea. You know, I think it could, uh, I think it does draw. I don't know if it's correct or not. Hmm. What were you thinking? Arby's? Yeah, I'm stumped by this one. Still looking. <clears throat> yeah, knight a8 is not going to work because of bishop d7 to c6. Winning the knight and the game. Knight takes c4 is an interesting option, followed by resignation. My idea is to hang the bishop on per or hang the knight on purpose to trap the bishop. That's interesting. 
Oh yeah, it is like a little check mark there. That's true. A little check mark. Yeah, I really don't even have an idea that seems to do anything. Well, the <clears throat> chat uh, wants to play like Sack the Night I was in, I was in looking s that. multiple ways. Right, that's just all there is to do, but it seems mm -hmm. like I just don't find anything from that. I'm sure there's something there, but... Well, one interesting idea was suggested in the chat to just mm -hmm. on purpose give up the bish uh, the knight rather. Mm -hmm. Now the bishop's stuck in your quadrant. Yeah, uh, I was looking at that too. And then uh, we'll just mm -hmm. play king e7 to e8, and then you can't win is the hope. Mm -hmm. Which is fair because if I bring the king around town, you'll just stay on e7, the dark square. And then move your dark square bishop back and forth. Mm -hmm. Where if he ever sacrifices his bishop for a pawn, it'll be opposite colored bishops. Even though it'll be a pawn up for white. He'll have a white square bishop, we'll have a dark square bishop, so we'll probably draw that. So I will admit that I don't really see a way to, to win with white after this. You know, you just keep our king on e7. Mm -hmm. And we can't kick the king away. We could only sacrifice the bishop for a pawn, but that's not going to win. So I'm starting to believe this is correct, actually. Although it seems a little bit unlikely. You have to sack the knight somehow. That's true. The knight is trapped. Yeah, knight a8, bishop d7 to c6 will win the knight anyway, so there's no logic in doing that. Gerard had a um, suggestion. But then he said ignore me, so I oh, ignored ignore him. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you changed your mind. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look. All right. King E8, X-Clan. Telling White he doesn't need the knight to draw. King E7, draw, agreed. Black just moves his bishop back and forth along this diagonal and dares White to make some form of progress, which he obviously cannot. Yeah, once I didn't really look at King E8, but once I saw it in the chat, it was impossible to make any progress. Mm -hmm. So very interesting. It's not really a tactic, but interesting concept, at least. Yeah. Well, that was pretty smart of the chat. Yeah. I'm a genius. I misspelled genius. I sort of thought it was on purpose. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Shanklin would have resigned that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, go chat. Hey, Sinbad. Hey, John John. <clears throat> Got a lot of material for an endgame here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Make sure this is all correct. And it's white to play and win. <clears throat> hey, make it piss. <laughs> <laughs> It's pies. It's definitely pies. <laughs> I think we had that discussion before and I just can't get it into my head. Agree to disagree. I get no, it I... <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Now, what is the goal? I'm so white tired. White to play and win. All right, white to play and win. I'm very tired today. <laughs> <laughs> White, white. Yeah, white to play and win still. <laughs> so tired, man. This one's also pretty tough because mm. it looks like he's going to queen. Mm -hmm. Even though we're up a queen, but when he queens, then we're not up a queen. It's weird how that works. <clears throat> but I do some I do see some tricky ideas. Let me uh, try to calculate a little beep boop beep boop. 
That's how I calculate. <laughs> I think I'm going to get it. Yeah. I'm on the right track here. Well, maybe not. <clears throat> I don't want to look at the chat because maybe they solved it. I'm afraid to look there too. Just ignoring them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got it though. Yeah, I'm about a hundred percent sure that I solved this one correctly. Almost a hundred percent. You can never really be a hundred percent sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gotta be like mate in one. And also mate in one you've already seen. <laughs> it's for you to be absolutely sure. I had some ideas, but I can't quite make it all come together. Three, two, six. It looks like chat's got a lot of uh, interesting ideas. Although, uh, Mepex at the end, it's not going to be mates on the back rank because if I promote on B1, and then you check me on the back rank, I can p block with my rook on B8. Hmm. Interesting <clears throat> is correct. I mean, it seems... I mean, some of the ideas I have, I don't really have a solution. Do you have a solution already? Yeah, I thought I was 100% sure. Oh. Uh, Pretty much. What, are you, what were you thinking about? <clears throat> well, I was thinking that you could maybe queen a queen if you sack your knight on h6. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. But exactly. I thought maybe first might make sense. Um... Well, maybe, well, maybe just wait when they, you either have to, when they queen, you have to sack your queen, or you can go ahead and take the rook now and double the pawns. But then if they get a queen, they can maybe get back up there and stop the queen. So I wasn't sure if you need Well, let's that. see the variation. Just tell me the moves. Okay, the first, all right. Well, let's just try to go straight there then. Uh, knight takes h6. All right, let's say g takes. Okay, then... Although, for the record, I don't think that's the best defense, but let's just say G takes for now. Okay, then, um, king, f7. But now I'll check you with my rook. Rook b7, check. Oh, yeah. And then rook b8, check. Okay, so... then I think you, for that reason, then don't you have to take... Yeah. The rook, and then the pawn will be blocking off that file. Yes, okay. yes, exactly. I That's exactly that. what I thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got to take the rook first, even before knight h6, because if knight h6, they'll check you first. That's right. And okay. then take your guy. That's probably So I think you got to take this. Okay. Then you got to take that. Then you move your king to one of these two squares. I don't know if it matters. Mm -hmm. Now, if, he, if you take here and he doesn't take the knight, and he queens... Then we have king f8 and knight f7 is mate. Oh, and there's yeah. no check, because like you said, there's no b8 check because the pawn is blocking it. Mm -hmm. And there's no f5 because this pawn's blocking it. So I think you got to take the rook, then take h6. And then if he takes back, you move your king and you promote. And then when you they queen, you check, and then you promote with mate on g8. Because mm -hmm. the pawn's still on h6. Cool. Knight takes h6, b1, queen. Yeah, but knight takes a6, h6, rook b7, check. Queen b4, b4, knight h6. Yes, I agree with that solution. John John. Hey, kangaroo. Let's see if it's right. Queen takes b4, x clam. C takes b4, knight h6, x clam. Nice. Also, you could play king f8 first, he says. 
And then if queen, knight takes. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Queen. Black also gets mated if he takes here. And then here to try to give the h6 square. But g6 is mate. <laughs> Queen. King f8, x clan. This is what I said. Mate. You're on fire today, John John. And mate. Nice. Yeah, pretty nice puzzle. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I like to take. No way to prevent this? I don't see a way to prevent it because if you sack your queen, he's got to take it, right? Otherwise, you take this and you're up a queen or you made him, whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's got to do that. Now here, this is where we gave a couple of options. But if you're not going to take the knight and you're not going to queen, what other feasible move could you consider? You, moving the king's illegal, like moving the knight isn't going to help, right? So queen, king f8 threatens mate, and this is where you can't check. You can't check. Buenos no checks. And this is a mate threat. The only way to stop that mate threat is to take this, and then it's mate. So this is entirely forced, as forced as can be. Mm -hmm. I will solve one of these one day. These, these are tough. Yeah, yeah this, is, tough. this is forced mate, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's look at the next one. Definitely. <clears throat> You like that one, Intelligent? Yeah, that was a good one. I liked that I solved it. That was my favorite part. Mm -hmm. I had the ideas I didn't have. It yeah, you quite. solved it pretty much like 90%. Yeah, I didn't have it all. But, but yeah, you got that move order was tricky because mm -hmm. he, can, he can defend. Yeah, and I couldn't decide which was the better move order. But the missing piece was I didn't really think about that blocking it off. Mm hmm at first. This is black to move and swindle. <laughs> I don't really know what that means because it you know, could be swindling a win or a draw. This is a game, uh, Petrosian, but neither Tigran Petrosian. Uh -huh. Arshak Petrosian. Mm -hmm. Against some guy from 1970. So black swindled Arshak Petrosian. Meshach Abednego. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, yeah, that's biblical, isn't it? That name. Yeah. Yeah. I think I solved it. Already? Yeah. What? Okay. I'm yes, yes. Chat. I'm sorry. Who? Tell me again. Black to play and okay. swindle. Okay, black. I can't believe you solved it already. All right. It actually mm. requires no calculation. Hmm. <clears throat> I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah. Spencer is a swindler after all. That's true. What does swindle mean? That's a good question. It means that the result is like bad for you, but then you tricked him and the result turned out better than it, it should have, let's say. Swindler, a person who uses deception to deprive someone of money or possessions. It looks like a game played for fun. All chess games are played for fun, right? You know, theoretically. Not making that up, Google. I figured that was a Google definition or <laughs> dictionary definition. Yeah, in fact, we got these books uh, from New and Chess recently about swindling. I forgot what it was called. Something about swindling. Oh, yeah. And then there was like a fox on the front. I think mm -hmm. it was uh, Smearden is the author, but that might not be correct. I think that's correct. Because um, Smearden, right after that, Ben was watching him play Komodo Dragon, I think it was. And we just happened to have just gotten the book, and we shared the book on the stream. That's cool. Mm -hmm. If uh, H4 from black, then I think it's pretty obvious what white would play. Let's see.
is that it's not possible that putting all the pawns like that was correct for black. Well, I mean, it could have been like a King's Indian defense, which is, seems likely that it was. And then his bishop was bad and he snuck his bishop out. You know, so that would be technically good for black to do all that. But, you know, I don't know how the game went, really. Yeah, Scottish Demon Goat knows all about this position. Absolutely. What do you think, Karen? Um, not sure. I was looking at pushing the chief pawn. Well, what if it was White's mm. turn? What would White play? Um. I'm not sure, either h4 or b6, I think. Well, if white had to play one of those two moves, which one do you think you'd <clears> prefer? Um. Oh, yeah, h4 won't work. I'm sorry, g4. Um... Are you still figuring out which move white would play? Or? I guess b6. Yeah, I mean, h4 yeah. loses a pawn for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't see that the first time. b6 does not. Right. And then white would be on the winning track, because white is good knight, knight against bad gone. bishop. Yeah. So that's why black should prevent b6. Um... There's only one way to stop him from playing b6. Well, it seems like um, if I put the queen there, we lose the queen. So I don't know. Yeah, but then he can't win. All right, so let's see. Um, so we'll go here. He'll take it. Now the position's all blocked. The only thing he can do is over here, right? It's the only oh, yeah. move he can make. If black plays h4, it's impossible for white to win. Mm -hmm. Without, you know, taking here and black lets you move again. You know? I forgot that which was trying to draw. We're trying to swindle. Oh, we are trying to swindle. Right? Yeah. But it could be a draw or... Sure. Oh, as yeah. long as the result is better no, than it should have not been. Not losing, okay. Yeah. So, if h4 takes... Now if he gets his queen to h3... Mm -hmm. White can win, so we have to play h3 here. That's a key move. That's important for understanding how to draw the position. Mm -hmm. If he lets us play h2, he's not going to win. If he takes and goes here, he's not going to win. Clearly, he can't right, get in anymore. Yeah. So h3 is a key move as well as giving up the queen. Both are x-clam. Mm. That was nice. hard. That yeah, was... Scottish Demon Goat loved this puzzle because White's playing b6, his favorite move, and so... <laughs> Black, in order to stop that, gives up a whole queen for it. Yeah, I just should have looked deeper. I just did dismiss that. Because it hangs the queen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let's see if it's right or if everybody's crazy. Mm -hmm. Queen b6, x clam. Knight takes b6, double question mark. Black is lost in this position due to the weakness of the a pawn. White intends queen d2 hitting the pawn. And preventing bishop e1. Followed by king move, knight move, king a4. And then knight move again off of c3 so the queen can take a5. There's no defense to that plan. That wins. But black does play queen b6 and white stupidly takes. All he has to do is the same thing we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Queen d2 king up to c4 and queen takes it a5 that'll win for white but he took double question mark 
takes. Now, black is threatening h4, so I assume white played it. Yes. Takes. Queen d2. White probably felt he would now win by this maneuver, which is what I said. Although I did it faster than they did. <laughs> like on queen c. Why would you play queen d2 to d1? I don't understand. Anyways. H3, x clam. Or else h2, like I said. H4, draw, greed. So Arshak Petrosian really messed that up. His opponent had been making sacrifices like that since, you know, PP and Pampers. <laughs> so Arshak Petrosian didn't know about that because it's the other Petrosian. Too bad for him. <laughs> but nice trick. Next game, I'll yeah, trade my queen one. for a bishop, except for one thing. Hey, Polo. Komsky was getting mad at people. Classic Komsky. <laughs> He's got to get mad. All right, I got two in a row correct. I know, you're in a row. Now let me make butter, sure. Butter we, me up. Before we start, I'm really thirsty too. Man, too lazy to go get water. I think we saw that already. Okay. All right. Oh, there are too many pawns for white here. Oh no, I pressed the wrong thing. That's all right. This was kind of not too many pieces. I hate when I do that. I've done that before too. So this is going to be black to play and win. It'll obviously be black to play because black was in check. There we go. That's better. Is it a play and win? Yeah. All right. There we go. Make sure it's the right position. Three pawns to two. Everybody's queening. The player with black is Richter, like Richter Rouser, mm -hmm. 1951. Speaking of Komsky, I drew him today in a long game. Suspicious. He's a pawn up and probably winning, but offered me a draw because a streamer battle on Lee Chess was starting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll take any draw I can get. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. So, I mean, we only got three legal moves, right? Um, two, three, yeah, three squares. Oh, I can eliminate one of them pretty quickly. But the other two, it's a toss-up. Fifty-fifty. Maybe fofty fofty. Seems like King A2. That was the one that I thought was certainly not correct. Oh. Um, and I mm. think also King B4 is not correct. So that only leaves King A4. Mm. I'll tell you how I came to that conclusion. Yeah. So if King A2, the problem is that you're allowing me to queen with check. So I can either queen first or even take C2 first. Also with your king on a2, if I play rook takes c2, I'm pinning your guy. Mm -hmm. So you can't queen in response. So king a2, rook c2, rook c2, I promote with check. 
almost certainly I'm not going to lose with white at that point. I'm running with checks pretty good. So that's why I thought king a2 was bad. He promote with check and he get pinned. King b4, I didn't like f7. Where, again, if you start to promote your pawns, then I'll queen. So I was calculating a little. <laughs> uh, then I'll queen. I was thinking maybe you could promote to a knight with check. And then if rook takes, you can't promote to a queen though because the rook guards that. So that's okay. Yeah, so that's why I think king a4. Because if king b4, this is check. If king a2, that's check. So I get out of the way of getting promoted on with check. So king a4, what would he do? Well, he could try to take the pawn. But then I'll queen. And you can't queen with check. So you can like queen your pawn, but I'm going to win. I'm going to play queen takes rook on c2 check and mate you with my queen and rook. Or if you promote this pawn, I'll just play queen takes rook check. You'll move your king. I'll take that. No problem. So king a4, rook c2 seems to lose. King a4, let's say he promotes to a queen. Then I can promote. I mean, I could take it. Or I could consider to promote. But if I don't promote with check, then he's going to check me. Then I'm not going to win if I get checked. It's going to be perpetual or I get mated. So if king a4, queen, we either take the queen or we promote to a knight. I don't understand why you would promote to a knight. Because he just plays rook takes knight. And then rook takes queen. I don't know how that helped. So I would assume that it's going to be rook takes queen on g8 after that. But then he could play king takes. And he's not... We're not uh, queening anymore. So king a4, queen, rook takes queen, king takes c2. I didn't exactly win. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> My conclusion is <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Dang. Braves down 3 to 0. King a4, g8 equals rook. Hmm? Then c1 equals knight, I think. Very strange answer, but somewhat of what I said. Why would you promote to a rook? I don't understand, but maybe. And then knight. But why knight? Is it rook takes, then rook takes queen? Or rook, if you promote to a rook? Because I'm not going to play pawn takes. Oh, I am. I am going to play. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, that wins. Right. Or right, that wins. So king a4, queen, knight. Rook takes knight. Takes knight again. And then we can play rook takes pawn and we'll win. Or rook takes queen, I mean, on g8. And we'll win. Because we have a knight and a rook against two pawns that is going to win usually yeah i forgot that when you play rook takes you're giving up your rook so i'm not going to have rook and knight against rook i have rook and knight against pawns so that should win king a4 queen knight now he doesn't have to play rook takes knight but this seems like the correct puzzle solution in my opinion king a4 f7 f7 is also a move yes c1 equals king probably knight takes takes equals knight even still i don't know that you ended your variation a little soon because after we move the king he's got his pawn on f7 we've got two pawns that can queen you have a knight here i'll move my king away and how are you going to stop both my pawns so that that variation didn't win after here f7 we might have to do something different but we can just do anything because he's he didn't make a queen yet. So we can like promote to a queen here. We can like promote to a queen or promote this to a queen. We don't have to promote to a knight if he plays f7. We should promote to a queen so we have a queen. So I think b1 equals queen will win in that case. All right, let's see if I'm right or if it's all wrong. Mm -hmm. King a4 exclam. Not king a2 double question mark. Rook takes c2, rook takes c2, check. Or king b4, double question mark, is f7. When the f pawn queens with check. So I was right about the checks, at least. Mm -hmm. 
So king a4. Now, to me, the toughest defense was this, because if we take with the rook, then king takes draws. So I assume it's going to be here and then knight. But f7, then we can promote anything to a queen, and that should win. g1 equals queen. c1 equals knight, check, x clam. Oops, I accidentally made a queen. But it should be a knight. x clam. Note that rook takes king c2 would allow white to draw. After taking with or uh, promoting to a knight check, white resigned. Because if you take, we make another knight with check. And then we take this. And now we'll have to win this position. But we can do it. I didn't calculate this, I just assumed it would win. Though well, it's pretty tight. But yeah, we can just play knight e5. That'll end all resistance. Pick up that pawn. Really nice. Really good stuff. Yeah, that was a pretty tough one, but mm -hmm. I figured it out. I muddled through it. <laughs> Queen, knight, takes, knight, king e3, rook g8, king f4. Rook g2 takes and then f7. But, the, okay, I mean, why can't, uh, yeah, f7, right. f7 makes it seem like white is not going to lose in that variation. You know, we have, like, a lot of viewers. Did you know that? Mm-mm. I wonder yeah. why. Is it chess TV? Did it again? just go up all of a sudden? I just noticed. I don't know. I've been, uh, you know, looking at this, so it's not. Yeah, I was me. trying to focus on. Let me. I gotta check now. Two under promotions to a knight. Is this made up? Mm -hmm. It is not made up. This was an actual game. Let me look. Richter had black, like I said, the Richter Rouser. It was Teschner miss... against Richter from fifty one. So this was a real game. Imagine uh, promoting to two knights in a row. <laughs> That'd be crazy. In a real game. I'd love to do that. No, I don't have chess TV. <laughs> I wonder if we got a raid or if we were on chess TV for a minute again. I hope, sorry if we missed a raid. Yeah, this might not win. I mean, it mm -hmm. seems like it doesn't win. So yeah, you got to get your knight in to, to win this. That's an easy win. No calculation needed after that. All right, let's look at another one, huh? Yeah, definitely. Hey, real quick, go over. Um, I just want to see. Let me just see it for a second. All right. Um, I just want to see. Probably not. It would have already changed anyway because it dropped back down. That's kind of true. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Frankly. <laughs> All right, let's look at the next right, one here. Next one. Yeah, I was just still trying to figure out. Well, welcome viewers. Maybe you know, who knows what happened. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to how many we had anyway. This will be a game that Silman played with White against Yermo. Mm -hmm. Old Yermo. What year was it? Does it say? Ninety-one. Ninety-one. The year a great chess master was born. <laughs> All right, easy to set up for me, at least. White to move and draw. All right. hmm. I was thinking this might be a stalemate puzzle, mm -hmm. but I do have a couple legal moves already. White to move and draw. Hmm. Well, I've got a pretty good idea, but I don't know. I just don't know. It's a pretty tough position. And you know you're almost gonna put the squeeze on you if you don't find it. Every Russian schoolboy knows that. <laughs> Yermo's playing in the US senior right now, says Ivy Sor. I believe it. 
Yeah, you're almost pretty strong. Don't really understand uh, if that long variation is all forced, Erdo. It doesn't seem like that's winning for black. What were you thinking, uh, Karen? I was talking of it. Okay. Any uh, candidate moves? Yeah, I was looking at one of the pawn breaks, maybe. Maybe F takes five, but then. Mm hmm. I mean, the king's trapped on the side of the board. That is a problem, yeah. So maybe, maybe it is if it's stalemate, though, that actually helps. <laughs> if you're trying to get. Yeah, but we always have H2 for our king. I know. I That's why it's. I don't think it's stalemate. Yeah. I can't give everything. Even if I could give everything away, I'd still have H2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was looking at. Well, Mepex, then it would be Rook F6. So that that's not a problem. Neurononim's back from outer space. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. He will survive. And White's trying to, you said, trying to win or draw? What do you think? Um, well, they have less pawns, so probably draw. Yeah, the king's worse. They got mm -hmm. less pawns. Black has a pass pawn, white doesn't. Be very difficult to attempt mm -hmm. to win. Whose turn is it? It's white to play and draw. Neuronum. But yeah, I, th I sort of agree with the chat on the first move. No, it seems like black has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. King h2, he might not see his rook is attacked. That's true. That is very true. Well, it's pretty true, at least. Somewhat true. Well, what does chat say the first move is? They want to play e5. That's the logical move to play because you want to trade off all the pawns anyway. Okay. As we've talked about in this uh, in this book, you know, the side that's winning wants more pawns. You got more winning chances because you can make a queen with more pawns. But if, if it's rook against rook and pawn, it's a draw, assuming that the king is reasonably placed. So the problem variation that I was having was with F G or F E rather. F E. I was thinking F G. So that he doesn't have connected pass bonds. Mm -hmm. Then if Rook takes, King takes, we'll probably draw because even though our King is stuck on the H file, like he could just bring his Rook back. Mm -hmm. His King is stuck behind my Rook on the sixth rank. Yeah, that's true. So he can't, like, just push his pawn up all willy-nilly. I'll go take it with my rook. Or he'll try to get behind it with his rook. Then my king will get in the action. So I believe that e5, f, e, f, g is enough to draw. e5, g, f, rook, f6 should be easy to draw. Also, e, f, check, maybe. Um... E5, rook, g3 check was a variation that was given in the chat to play g4, although you're going to lose your pawn in that case anyway, so it's just going to be rook and two pawns each. I wouldn't expect that to win, but that might be the best variation. Mm -hmm. So I think that that works. Yeah, king h2, it is rook g4 exactly. 
because then if e5, rook takes f4, so you can't still play e5 anymore. Rook takes f4. I'll keep my connected pass pawns in that case. If I get to do that, I'll probably win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see what uh, Silman did. e5, x clam. Yermolinsky was sure he was going to win at this point. He failed to see my next move, which sacrifices a second pawn in order to force a positional draw. <clears throat> e5, x clam. I don't really see how this sacrifices a pawn. Check, and then F, E. Oh, okay, I see. Now check, and then F, E. So if we take here, rook takes, our H pawn's not hanging. See, that's a variation that I gave. I didn't notice rook G3 check, and then F, E. I was thinking here, 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 here. And then he'll move his rook somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then our king is stuck, but his king is stuck. That's a draw. But what Silman's saying is that even this, which is better, the same thing, but I can't play king takes pawn, oh, yeah. is also a draw. King h2, fe. He also, instead of fe, gf, rook f6. That's what I gave. f3, king h1, x clam. King h1, x clam to stop rook g2, followed by f2. Not that that was even possible. Somebody's calling us, huh? I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, now black can't improve the position. Black can't move the pawn. He can only move the rook here. That's not going to help. Can't get the king in. Mainly, etc. Mainly. Yeah. So, let's look at Fe. Fg, rook g5. So now he's down two pawns, but this is still enough to draw. The problem is the king isn't playing. Mm -hmm. A That's positional true. draw. They played on a bit more. So then he finally gave up this pawn. So that now his king can get out. But so can white's. And now we're in a textbook draw. He actually went to a2. Oh, so now you can't play e2. Nice technique. And it'll be a Philidor position draw. So nice idea there. e5, rook g3, check fe was the best um, test. But it still is enough to draw. This position is a draw. The king can't help. If you push the pawn, I'll go attack it with my rook making you defend it with your rook so I can go take this pawn. And then he had enough time to come back and defend because the pawn's not very far advanced yet. Mm -hmm. Really good defense by Silman there. I'll give myself a B plus for that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite get it all going Yeah, on. that one's still pretty tough. Yeah, hi, Ben. I think that um, yeah, we might have been on Chess TV briefly and we didn't even know it till we were already back off. But it did boost the viewership, so yay. Hurrah. <laughs> All right, how about uh, we'll go on to the next one, huh? Definitely. These are very hard tactics. Okay, I'm going to grab it up a, notch. a cup of water while you're setting that up. All right. Do you need anything? No, thank you. Okay, but thank right. you. I'm a little bit dehydrated. Hopefully I'll get it set up in time before Karen comes back. She said I would. Let's see, that looks correct. Just making sure. It's kind of tough, but okay, this looks right. Black to play and win. Hmm, this one looks pretty easy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, actually, no, we have to calculate a lot. Hmm. This is black to play and win. Black to play and win. Night, night, Neurononum. Night, night, Neurononum. Karen's gone. Quick comment, anti-London stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm sorry, black to play and win? Yes. All right. And you don't have it yet? I'm pretty sure I have the okay. right idea, but I have to calculate more. Okay. Beep, boop, beep.
Well, this may be I'm wrong. I have an idea, but I think I have to, I have to calculate. Darn, it's hard. Calculating is tough. Yeah. Boom, boom. <clears throat> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I think I, I, by God, I've got it. <laughs> Classic movie reference there. Although I didn't see the movie, I only saw parodies of it. Still not sure, I'll admit. It's too tough for me. That's what I was thinking, Scottish Demon Goat, but I still couldn't calculate the win. I mean, I was thinking knight takes b3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then, Obviously, frankly. Then knight takes, then c4. And then you get the knight back. But your pawns are then not protecting each other anymore. Mm. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Well, I'm just saying with regards to queen, since then where would they go king d2? Probably they play king c2 to, pro to protect their knight. So in case you take on b3, they can take back and not be down a pawn. Oh, yeah. I guess right. We could intermezzo d3 check, but I actually don't think that works. So I'll show you what I was looking at here. Mm -hmm. If we intermezzo this check and then take, they should take here. Right. And there's no way black's winning here. Mm -hmm. okay. Like there's just no possible way. I don't think. <laughs> so if we don't intermezzo and we do like this, mm -hmm. now we, if we go like here and there, they can step in front. Yeah, I was looking at that too. And then I was calculating like this, but then white's better or winning. We take both the pawns at the same time. So I mean, we could try this. I don't. I don't really see how this wins, to be honest. How how does this win? I have the outside pass pawn. I have the outside pass pawn here, there, here, there. That's not going to get it done. That is not going to get it done. Right. No way. That's true. I mean, are we really going over here and doing this? I, I don't know. It seems like it's slow. So that's why I wasn't sure how this exactly won. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got to be this. This seemed worse than just taking... I, don't know, I still feel like this is the answer. It's, I can't win, though. <laughs> so sort of defeated. This is why this is very hard. You can see the right move, but you can't figure out the win. But, I mean, if we look at this position, what other candidate moves do we have with black? Ridiculous, right? There's nothing. There's no other candidate move that makes any sense. You could, well, you could play a king move or whatever, but... Well, even then, that might lose. But you could play a candidate move that doesn't force anything but it's a tactics puzzle so king c2 c b takes there 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 king f3 a3 king takes g3 seems draw yeah exactly exactly maybe not knight takes b3 yeah but i can't find another candidate move so i'm almost 100 percent sure it's knight b3 i just can't win you want to check out the answer definitely yeah let's see what they said that was my only idea i had anyway to check out the answer, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is Marazzi against Marshall from 1903. Marazzi was one of the finest endgame players of all time. However, the crazed tactician Marshall was also very strong in this final stage of the game. 
In the present example, we get a taste of Marshall's ability to calculate deeply and accurately. Boom shakalaka. A real surprise. Mm -hmm. Why? Isn't C5, C4 pretty obvious? Yes, but the resulting position leaves white with an outside pass pawn, which could easily turn the tide in white's favor. This is what we were experiencing. Mm -hmm. There. Check. Takes takes had marshall miscalculated and in his search for beauty forgotten that outside pass pawns usually rule in king and pawn end games king e4 x clam so it is to go in this and at the same time threaten this king c2 this is what i had analyzed a4 is going to lose after d3, a5, king e3. See, if you play d2 here, then king e3 here, you messed it up. Mm -hmm. So you gotta play king e3 first. Now I can't play king c2. Oh, yeah. a6, d2, and black hole queen with check, winning easily. So, king c2, king e3, not d3 check double question mark king d2 when white wins thanks to his outside pass pawn but instead king e3 king d1 like you'd expect and then he goes king f2 Now he goes king e2. If queen, queen check, check, easy win for black. So he tried this. Check. You can't play king here to queen because that's a queen with check. Check. King d2, if king e3, okay, so king f1, d2 is hopeless. If king e3, queen, queen, check, and d2 is winning, pretty close to queening. So he tried king d2 here, which seems pretty similar in my opinion. In fact, this is even worse. This is even worse defense, because now we can just win this position. Oop, getting a little confused there. For those who haven't studied the earlier lessons in, in the book, this king upon pawn game should be kid stuff. Yes. G3 stalemate. Just kidding. He played here. And resigns. We've looked at this exact position before. Mm -hmm. So Marshall did understand when he took he, that he can combine, when he moves his king here, threats of promoting his d-pawn with threats of taking on G3 and promoting the f-pawn. And he calculated it out that he wins by one tempo because the a pawn is too far away from queening himself. Really difficult stuff. Mm -hmm. Very difficult stuff. Did anybody get it in the chat? Not really. No. They had the right idea. But they're doing their best. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably even Marazzi thought knight b3 wasn't working and was shocked when he took it, I imagine. Mm -hmm. I would be. Because, I mean, this is something you can see and then you understand that white's going to have the outside pass pawn. So... You know, you think it just doesn't work, but we calculated it, and by force it wins, so that's all that matters yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day. You would have blown that on 100% of the time, me pegs. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Yeah, pretty trivial stuff. <laughs> cat face. Hey, cat face, how's it going? All right, how about another one, huh? Yeah, I want to keep going. This will be a Ribley game, believe it or not. Well, that was a pretty good joke. I feel like you didn't. didn't Ripley. Catch that. Yeah. 
<laughs> it sounded as, I, I just dismissed it as nonsense of some sort. <laughs> let, let me read. It sort of was. Ripley, like there's Ripley, believe it or not. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Like Ripley's, believe it or not. All right. <laughs> not bad. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> I thought that can't possibly be the joke. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is Ripley against Ozvath. I never heard of him. From Hungary. Yes, Ripley was Hungarian, and this game was played in Hungary. 1971. Mm. Black to play and draw. Yeah. Thank you for that information, Prophylaxis. Black to play and draw? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. These are so hard. All right. No stalemate tricks here either, probably. Which is sad. I'm always hoping for that. Mm. Well, it looks pretty tough. <clears throat> Being down a whole night and all, but he's only got one pawn left. So that's giving us a, a new hope. Even still. Even still. One thing that's benefiting us is that his king is so poorly placed. Over there and on the side of, you know, mm -hmm. on C2, he can't even get in there, help out his buddies. Um, so if it's white to play, he'll play rook f6 check, probably, I'm assuming, right? And then our king will have to go backwards, then he could play, like, even rook h6, or he can prepare with king, e th king c3 to, pr to stop uh, rook d4. Which, you know, he might not care about, but anyways, he's going to play rook f6 and and try to make progress with this knight and pawn that way. I was thinking maybe h4, jettisoning the pawn. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, well, the immediate point is if rook f6 check king, e, king h5 is, is allowed. Which might be preferable to king g7. Also, rook d4 immediately is interesting. Mm hmm. I was looking at that. But it's a little scary. Scary Terry. And, anyways, king c3 might not. might nullify that move. And then I was analyzing sacrificing the rook for the knight and then trying to draw with the h-pawn. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough. The white king can step over quickly enough. In my calculation, at least. Which could be incorrect, but... So it seems to me like h4 is the move. But I don't know. If I was white, I would move my hand to close the chess web page and then turn on Skyrim. <laughs> and do what? Yeah, Skyrim's a game. I like to play uh -huh. Skyrim. I just looked uh, this morning on my Switch. I had over 330 hours on Skyrim. So I played it quite a bit. But uh, I've only even... There's still tons of stuff I have to do. Haven't finished the Thieves Guild. Probably I'll never do that. <laughs> I don't like the Thieves Guild. I like killing. <laughs> Not thieving. I don't care about that. Get me in the Dark Brotherhood. That's my kind of guild. It sounds... Um, is that one of those games where you... You have you take resources and you like build things and then do things. Not exactly, but it is an RPG like that. But it's mostly you like go into dungeons and kill bad guys, and but you are collecting like you know weapons and you could collect some resources mm -hmm. and build with them as well. Like uh, you know like animal hide, you could turn that into leather and then make weapons with leather. Or, or ores. Mm -hmm. 
all that good stuff. But yeah, I like h4 takes and then uh, king f5 perhaps. Because then we can't move our rook away. h4 is a nice deflection allowing king f5. So h4, rook f6 check, I'm still not convinced about though. But I like to play king h5 if possible there. Even if it's not possible and I have to play king g7, I'll still be happy I pushed my h-pawn and you didn't take it. Because I can play h3, h2 and my h-pawn is countered play. But I feel like other than h4 and rook d4, there aren't any candidate moves. And I don't like rook d4 because king c3. Mm -hmm. So it seems like h4 has to be the move by process of elimination. I don't really think I'd consider like rook c8 check or any other move, really. I don't know if you had any other candidate moves. I mean, that, I was, those are the same things I was looking at. But I can't really uh, figure out where to go with it. Let's see, chat's talking a lot about, you know, their names, Catface and such. And, well, anyways, let's see what the, let's see what the deal is. Here. Hey, wait a minute now, it went up again. Look real quick on chess oh, TV. Oh, 225? Do we have to look every time we get yeah, more Yeah, because um, it's like a mystery. <laughs> do you want, you want to use this? Or? Sure. All right. Let me just take a second. You'll do a little slew thing. Absolutely. It's true that, uh, um, you know, Sherlock played chess, if he's real. No, it's like not. No, it's just chess, bro. We're just great. That's what it is. <laughs> I think we got on there briefly again. Why do we keep getting on there? I can't prove just it. Just for a second. I can't prove it because when I go look, it's... Maybe we're like the in-between other people, you know? <laughs> it's like a grandmaster and they're like, I'm done. Like, okay, I still need five minutes to get set up. <laughs> Let's put on Karen and Spencer. For like five minutes. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Hey, Germany. Hey, no, no. No. Anyways, white's no, a solid no, no, knight no. ahead. However, black is able to create a surprising positional draw. Two of his Donald Trumps are white's king is cut off from the field of battle. White can't win if he loses his final pawn. He didn't write Donald Trump. I you know, said that one. Uh, your bots Trump. are kicking in. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. H4, X clam. Giving up the pawn and leaving himself a piece and a pawn down. Takes. Rook f6 check. King h5. Rook g6 check. Oh, if... I was actually a little bit more afraid of g6, but rook g8 wins the pawn, he says. I'm glad he gave this variation. That just wins the pawn outright and will draw. Because rook and knight against rook is a draw. So if you ever lose the pawn, it's a draw. So he didn't take the pawn? He did. We're looking at another variation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here, rook h6. This is a different variation. Oh, I see. Okay. King g4, then g6. King f5. g7. Threatening rook h8. So we can't take the knight. So rook g8, winning the pawn. The pawn cannot be retained. King h Rook h7, king g6. Picking up that pawn. Mm -hmm. Too late. It's too late to order fries. So he did take the pawn instead of trying this. Yeah, that's why I liked h4, because then we can move our king up, and we create counterplay with our h-pawn. Mm -hmm. And if he takes it, then we can play king f5, which is what happened. Now black's idea is clear. White's king is still trapped away from the embattled area. Uh, the knight cannot move without losing the pawn. The pawn will be captured if it moves, and the white rook cannot move without losing the knight. So everybody is stuck. And this move is an idea, but then he'll check us. And then we have to go back and protect our rook. So let's see what happens. Anyways, king c3 to stop that. That's what I'd figure. So he's just going to do nothing, I guess. Yeah. Black is happy to move his rook back and forth, making sure to avoid rook d4, knight g3 check. Yeah, see, that would let white out of his predicament here. Mm -hmm. So you don't let him do that. He played rook h1. White finally gives it a shot, trying to just give up the knight, and then we'll try to win with the pawn. 
But rookie three X Clam. Draw agreed. Black avoids King takes E4 blunder. Rook G1. Which will win. For example, Rook A3. G6. Rook A8. G7. Rook G8. King D6. King F5. King E7. And white wins. Playing King F7 next to me. Oh, uh, yeah. God. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> Rook H1, a really tricky move. Mm -hmm. Here. It seems like I'm giving up. I can't win. And then King E4. But actually, I do win. <laughs> Just kidding. So instead, rook e3 after rook h1, and the draw was agreed. Since if, uh, well, if you move your knight, you lose the pawn. That'll draw. And if you play rook g1, we can take this way, check, and here. And now you can't stop me from taking the pawn. Nice. Mm. Rookie three X clam, really good defense. Very cautious considering, you know, it's very late in the game and he's probably a little exhausted. <laughs> but he's still, and the guy never even heard of him. He still played rookie three. Dang. <laughs> yeah, Ribley's pretty tricky with rook h one, but the guy was alert enough to play rookie three. Very nice defense. Yeah, really nice draw. Yay. Thanks, Market Sands. Thank you, Market Sands. For hundred bits. Nice and a little goodly good luck. Clover. Oh, it's only mm -hmm. three. It's only three leaves. <laughs> so it's just normal. So what do you think? You want to do more or, or maybe play some um, games? I think we could... Um, I think we could do one more. Let me just look real quick. All right. What do I know? Could it be on Chess TV? I don't understand the numbers today. Now look, it went back to... I think it's just a Twitch glitch. Today. Maybe. It's very strange. I don't know. Maybe we're just the best. And we knew it the whole time. Yeah. All right, one more, one more puzzle then. This will be a, a Banco composition, so it's not a game he composed it. Banco is known for his, uh, his end game compositions. Oh yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. He loved to do a nice end game composition. All right, so it's white to move and draw. Even though white is uh, ahead a pawn, his king is very bad. Hmm. His king is pretty bad, huh? I got confused. So I'm sorry, it's white to play? And draw. And draw. Yes. Okay. I knew it was draw. I was like, wait, maybe it was black turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I solved it. All right. Well, give me another second. No. Well, okay. <laughs> Is it a race? What? It doesn't mm -hmm. seem like white could possibly win any race. Since his pawns are worse and his king is worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I think I got it. I'm almost 100% sure again. As close to 100% as possible. Yes, I, I did get it right because the guy who's using an engine to solve the puzzle said it. <laughs> so now I know I'm right. That's the way to do it. Karen to move and lose. <laughs> I saw you. Oh, he already. I, I saw he tried to roast before. Like three times. No, come really? on. Really? I saw it. <laughs> yeah, come on, Market Sands. <laughs> I already saw it. <laughs> he didn't want his joke to go unappreciated. We love the joke. 
<laughs> oh, it's an Omicorn. It's hey, like Omicorn. it's like Omicron. You know, from the the planet of Norway Rose. <laughs> well, we were busy. You know, Omicron's from uh, Futurama. Who is is a kangaroo who's watching all the Futuramas? Yeah. Too bad uh, he didn't chime in about it yet. <laughs> if he's if he's here, they might be multitasking or. Right. Oh, yes, yeah, there he is. Omicron Percy I-8. Well, let me see. It's not good. Yeah, Honestly. men are from Omicron Percy I-7. Women are from Omicron Percy I-9. <laughs> 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 Omicron is a Greek letter. Well, I'll take your word on that, Christopher James. So what were you thinking, Karen? Um, I'm not sure, but it, it seems like, um, why does it want to move the cheap on right now? I mean, <laughs> That's true. So that eliminates that over there. So I don't I, think he can move any pawns. That's a concern. That make so any sense. if the king, black king, comes in, you know, and takes the b pawn, then it seems like they can queen. Yes. So I have to stop that. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, yeah. that's great. That's exactly how I solved it. Yeah. If so, I'm right, assuming. So I'm now right. I'm thinking, like, how can we? Stop the situation. So let me look. I can't really keep the king from going to see four, but it's why it's turn. So let's see. King five. Now a lot of time people in the chat were talking about a, a race, um, and it, you lose it by one tempo. So uh, I'll just say the moves, and maybe you guys can calculate it in your head. King f five, king c four, king g four, king b three, king h four, king b two. G4, A3, G5, A2, G6, A1 equals queen, G7, but black already queened, and you're only on G7, so I can go win your G-pawn at my leisure. Queen G1, I guess. So that you, the straightforward way to draw is not going to get it done. You're going to have to do as Karen suggested and prevent black from just playing king C4, B3, takes B2, and queening, mm -hmm. which there's only one way to do it. Um, what about c4 after king b3 though and then i'll play king takes c4 i guess but then okay so i see what you're saying king c4 king f5 or king f5 king c4 king g4 king b3 c4 Mm. King f5, king c4, king g4, king b3, c4, king takes c4, and then we could play king takes h4, and we're a tempo up. Ah, ah, so king b3, g4, takes g5, a3, a g6, a2, g7, a1 equals queen, g8 equals queen, Queen h1 check, king to the g file, queen g1 check takes g8. That's why that doesn't, well, that was a better variation. That's a better defense for white, but it still loses. Let's put it on the board. Oh, the other thing, okay. Yeah, this is what we were It's just analyzing. saying this does not work. Right. Okay. Now, if takes, takes, we lose, and your pawn only gets here. So c4 gains a tempo, because now you have to waste two moves going back and forth. I only wasted one playing c4. Mm -hmm. So now white's a tempo up, but this still loses because of the classic trick. We check, forcing you here, and then oh, check yeah. and pick up the queen. Oh, yeah. So that's a, the best defense if king f5, but king f5 doesn't work because, as we saw, it loses. So did you figure out the right answer? How to prevent all that? 
Well, you, yeah, I mean, how to prevent him from going here and winning it. It's white to play and draw. I mean, if... Um, I know, like, the shortest path is if you do something that's counterintuitive to me. Which would like be, what? Well, oh, king d7. That's what I was thinking, yes. And then you've got that nice diagonal. It's actually a shorter path. Yes. But um, This is the only way to make progress right. against this plan. Mm -hmm. Because you are getting closer to the square by getting here. Right. But right. I, and I could really. see that. But then I wasn't really sure maybe the king then doesn't go in. Maybe, well, how could he win otherwise? Well, that's true. And if he goes all the way over here, we're going to queen our C pawn. Mm -hmm. So the only way for him to try to win is to do this, but then we touch the A pawn. Right. Like this. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even we can... No, we can't try C. I was thinking because, you know, we played C4 in that other variation. Mm -hmm. I was just a little bit worried about the position of the kings now, though. Mm -hmm. um, and whether... Right. That's true. How does the white king right, I thought this get would draw, but it maybe doesn't. Let's see. One. Hmm. Still tough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it might not even. It might even be that. Some other move I played was wrong. Yeah, because it seems like that this is losing, but I don't know. Like, but if we go here and there, queen, c7, that's not going to work. So it, it must be to do this. Unless, unless, are we really playing c4 here? That, that doesn't make any sense. We'll still have to move our king. So it wouldn't be any different. I mean, is there really like a timely pawn push? I don't think so. I don't know. So I thought this was the draw, but this doesn't work. Mm -mm. Go back a couple moves too. I wanted to see something. I mean, unless that is, there is a draw there, which is possible. Like king a5 or something. I don't know. Okay, I was just going to look at it. Okay. Yeah. White doesn't have too many options. King a3. Head for g7. What the heck? Oh, g2. Yeah, but king a3, king d2, king b2, king e2, king c2, king f2, king d2, king takes g2 is winning. We need to head here. I was about to say the diagonal looks the same distance over here. Right, maybe we could do that then. So like you first you act like you're going so this here, way. But, um... Like this. But not quite, right? Not quite in time. Wait, so can you go back? Um, you're right here. Let's see one. Yeah, that won't work. It's too tough. I already gave up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready to look at the answer. I, I thought I had it, but I was wrong. Mm. It's king e5 instead of king d7? No. How is the king? How could that be possibly right? King e four then? No, nah, it's just Scottish demon go. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna trust that. All right, Palvenko composition: White to play and draw. Black intends to gobble up White's b pawn and make a new queen. Since White can't prevent this, one might guess that Black will win. However, White can save the game with a very strange maneuver: King d seven. Mm -hmm. If King f five. King c4, king g4, c4. This is exactly what I gave. He just gives this variation. Queen h1, check, queen. He actually played king g5, but okay. Obviously, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that did lose. I was right about that, at least. Mm -hmm. King d7, king c4, king... Wow. Wow. King C7. King 
king b8. What? <laughs> you think I'm just making up moves? <laughs> no. <laughs> what if I was? You are there. Well, you might. Draw. This is why the king is here. There's no check. You can't get your queen in front of my pawn. I'm just promoting by force. Wow. Unbelievable this, stuff. This went a completely different way than I thought it I was going. I would have never played <laughs> king c7 to b8. I'd be like, what? <laughs> if my opponent did this, I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wouldn't you be like, what's going on here? This is crazy. <laughs> Corresponding square system, just kidding. <laughs> queen a6. Oh, oh, sorry. Wrong uh, end of the variation here. Queen a6 and then... Right, because if we queen and it's takes, takes, then he's going to win our pawn? No. We're just in time. Somehow we're just as close to this pawn as he is to our pawn. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was such a su surprising puzzle to me. Yeah. I like how I got king d7. We understood that, but our idea right. to go here was not yeah, right Yeah, that at wasn't all. right. Well, we figured out it didn't work. We just couldn't right. figure out. Right, we just couldn't figure out the, what, what the answer was. Yeah. <laughs> not um, stuff. King to b8. Wow. How is the g-pawn not getting eaten after queening? So you want to just queen and then go take the pawn like this, I guess? Well, this does seem like it has some winning chances, right? No, but we can just check. Get the pawn, yeah. Yeah, we can Pork. just check. Pork. Nice, nice. This is a key point, too. He actually doesn't give this, though. He just says both sides will queen. Black will win the g-pawn, but it's a table-based draw. Which is, you know, potentially true. I don't know if there's a way that black can win the pawn and not lose the pawn. It certainly doesn't seem very likely. He would just need another tempo. What a puzzle. Benko Nudi is doing, huh? Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Very difficult. King d7, c7, b8. Why does this work? I don't know. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> That's all. That's the only reason it works. It just does work. That's why. There's not really a rhyme or reason to it. We just got to queen our pawn when he takes this. And our king needs to control that square. And the king on b8 can't get checked. Or anywhere else it could theoretically get checked. Where then black can be in position. Like black could, for example, if your king is checkable... Black could, like, check your king to where it has to go in front of the pawn like we've seen before. Then go collect this pawn and try to trade when you queen, try to trade the queens after I win the pawn, and then I can queen. But if my king's on b8, you'll never check me. I'm just queening immediately. And in the variation where you control that square, you, you're not in time because I'm fast enough on the diagonal. So that's that's why it works, all of those reasons put together. Yeah, nice stuff by Banco. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was doing, really. Witchcraft, burn Banco. Yes. <laughs> yes. Requires some virtual reality. King d7, c7, b8, and he got banned for cheating. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, Market Sands. I didn't really know he did that. He would just analyze anyone's games. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Curse Euclidean geometry. Instead of taking b2, capture black pawn. What? <laughs> Instead of taking b2, capture black's pawn? <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Maybe they meant g2. But even still, I don't know about that. Mm. 
<clears throat> well, anyways, that seemed like enough puzzles for today, huh? I think so. My really point. nice one that we ended on. Though. Yeah, that was really good. Very um, surprising. Mm -hmm. But I like that one.